So I got a little, a little running outside. Keep his hoodie on, try to stay warm. I'm trying to get this cardio in, man. I'm trying to work on myself the same as I'm trying to help y'all work through it. You know, today, I really thought a lot about, you know, some things I had to do today. And, you know, I had to really make sure my day was planned a certain way. I couldn't really kind of fudge it around or anything or waste time because I wanted to do better with myself on that kind of thing. Uh, sometimes, you know, I have a bad habit with really, uh, you know, letting things seem like they're too much, you know, clutter my day. So today I was like, nah, no more. We in it today. And really makes me think about, you know, really self-reflection. I sit here and I come to y'all, you know, whenever I can to really kind of bring uh, just a different type of mentality or idea of life, you know. I have a good life, man. I'm successful. On the outside, I'm doing great. Uh, I got to, you know, I, I can play sports still, you know. I do jujitsu. I run. I have a great career, material things or whatever, but, you know, I have everything somebody could want. On the outside, it's great, and I think it's important to take care of the internal as well. You know, I've struggled, you know, for some time, uh, just kind of burying a lot in general and just pushing through life at a high efficiency. And I think that that really kind of pulls the wool over your eyes, really, in the grand scheme of things when it comes to your life and what you can ruin in your life. I, I had a trajectory that I thought my life was going to be on that, you know, I was moving forward with, and I felt amazing. You know, I felt like, wow, man, I, I can't do much more. I'm doing everything. I'm, I'm killing it right now. I'm, I'm killing it. I can't fit nothing else into my days. You know, the typical, you know, grind hard, you know, uh, never sleep, things like that. And I remember a close person, you know, they told me they were like, hey, yo, if you don't slow down, like it, it's going to it's going it's to get you like you're not living right. You're really not. And. When I do a lot of self-reflection, I think it's important for you guys to really, truly reflect. And I mean, take it back to however far you feel like you need to take it back. Take it back to the childhood. Take it back to how you were raised, the culture you grew up in, you know, middle school, high school, college, early adulthood, you know, even if you're older, middle adulthood, whatever, and really reflect on what were you doing? Were you really living right? Did you have the right behaviors? And I say that because growing up, I've always managed to fit about everything possible into my life every day. And thinking if you do that, you were doing a good job. When due to recent events in my life and things that I've really lost in my life that were super important in my life in, in every way of my life, it really had to sit down and you really start to realize, man, you're losing everything. I mean, everything like you're losing yourself, you're losing people, you're losing money. I mean, you could look at it. You're losing everything, man. You're losing your sanity, yourself. Maybe you're depressed. You know, self-reflection is, is so important. And I never did that. All I ever did was look forward because I believed that if you just keep pounding and pounding and pounding through life, you're going to get to where you need to be. And the mentality isn't wrong in regard to working hard and pushing that hard. But when it comes to long term and longevity, you have to take time to sit back and think, man, am I doing this right? Am, am, I, am I truly making sure that I'm maintaining my own self-health? You can have friends around you who you believe are your best friends. And they'll do everything for you. And they probably will. They might go to jail for you, whatever. But that person can't help you. Like in the bare bones of yourself, nobody can help you but yourself. And whether you have to self-reflect every day or every week or every month, you really should sit down and really think about it. Look at your life right now. Yeah, you might be on a trajectory where you think you're supposed to be going, but are things starting to snag up? Are they starting to really hang you up? Are you stalling in that? Are you not feeling right? Do you wake up with the same enjoyment? 
Do you have the same enjoyment doing activities, doing the things you used to love? That's all super important. And I didn't look at myself very well in that. Um, you know, I started to lose what I love to do. When I was playing, you know, eight man, the, the semi-pro football thing, you know, I was 30 some years old, 30 years old, killing it, man. In shape, just beast. But 100%, man, working two jobs, practicing three days a week, game on a fourth day, uh, training my body seven days a week, still maintaining personal relationships and friendships. I mean, that's not feasible, man. It's really not. And when you look back on it, you can see that there was no way to sustain that. And had I listened to people, I think things would have been different in my life. And I go and, you know, what really, really took me down was God wanted to teach me a lesson, man. And I'm going to tell you right now, that man wanted to teach me a hard lesson. And, you know, I broke my leg and my ankle, surgery, all kinds of things. And that's when I started to finally self-reflect. But I didn't do it, man, all the way. I, I just kind of did it. And I skipped steps. And if you skip steps on really reflecting on yourself, that's when you start making mistakes, man. That's when you really start messing up because, yeah, you have the time to sit down and think and you're going to get depressed. Every athlete will tell you, everybody that goes 100% in life who has, a, who, who has a career that takes most of their life and they all of a sudden stop, boom, nothing. They're going to tell you, man, they get depressed. A lot of people, man, want to take their lives. They feel like they have nothing else, no purpose, no anything. You got to realize it, man. You got a plethora of things around you. You might have people in your life at that time that you should be spending more time with. Realizing that those are your purposes, man. Creating a family, getting kids, whatever. Man, that's your purpose. That's what your purpose is. All the other external things, man, if you really reflect back on your life, that doesn't make a difference. You know, when I look back on how I took care of myself, you know, even with that, I was in the gym, man, on crutches and my cast and everything, still trying to hit the gym every day, going right back to work, just crutching through, didn't even take time, you know, and, and thinking that's, that's, you know, healthy. It, it's not, man. Sometimes you got to sit back and elaborate on your prior life or things that you did before to be able to move forward in the correct way. Everybody can move forward. It doesn't matter what you do, you can move forward. It's, are you moving forward in a good path or a bad one, man? If you don't clean up your mistakes and you don't clean up your behaviors that got you in that same situation where you started to lose the drive and, 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 the, and the true passion for what you're doing, you're never going to move ahead, man. I don't care if you think you're moving ahead by things because the external factors make you think you're doing better when in reality you're not because you're just kind of spinning around and all that it does is it changes things in your life and makes you think that you're excelling because these things change, these things change here, these things change here. That doesn't actually make you do better as a person. It's not excelling your mental, your spiritual health. None of that, man. You know, if you have a significant other, how are you going to be able to really give her the time she deserves, the energy she deserves, the love she deserves? If you sit here and all you're doing is worrying about all this external stuff that shifts around, not realizing that you got to think about your life for a second, man. You should always strive hard for your own success. And if you succeed well in the right way, on the right path, everything around you will get better. If you skip steps on the road to that, everything around you is going to get worse. Every little tidbit that adds up, you have to think about it, man. Everything gets built. You do something wrong, one. Do something wrong again, two. Do something wrong again, three. Starts filling up. At that point, man, you, you really start losing yourself. You know, I sat there and I, I started going right back to put more time on my career. Instead of putting career into my personal life, mind you, sports is not your personal life. Career is not your personal life. Training is really not your personal life. That is something that is a tool to get you something else, but it is not your life. That's the difference. I train every day, man. 
You see these other people online, man. They train like crazy, but they don't train all day, man. There's a specific percentage, but they use it as a way to get to something else, another goal. And you could train in your job the same fashion, but you need to train in relationships too. You need to train, man, to understand that you're going to have to work with that person. Believe that that person has your back. Don't fucking do them dirty, man. Don't. Push hard. Push hard on being a better person. If you think you're about to make a mistake, tell somebody. Man, you got friends or whoever, your parents, it doesn't matter, or your significant other, say to them, hey, ah, I'm not doing good right now. I need some help. This is what I'm thinking about. This is what I'm thinking about doing. These are the thoughts that creep in my head. Don't let those demons take away from you self-reflecting because as you self-reflect, you're going to realize what demons were really in your head that were in your life that were trying to take you away. They're not going to let you leave unscathed. They're not going to let you just walk away. But you got to push harder. you got to push through it no matter what. Do not let them beat you. Do not let yourself beat you to something that is less of yourself. Believe that if you do well and you do the right behaviors, man, live right. Don't be cheating on your girl. Don't be fucking up your friendships and not helping your friends and going behind their backs. Don't do that, man. Don't cheat in your career. If you believe in something and you have a passion in your career, you fight for that. Because at the end of the day, you know inside that you did it right. You didn't lie. You didn't take a step off. That's important. Because if you do what's right every time, it will pay off. It will be a harder road doing it right. There's no doubt. It is not an easy road doing it the right way at all. But if you reflect on your life, think about what got you to where you're at. I guarantee you, you'll sit here on your self-reflection and know that you skipped steps, man. You skipped them. You got nobody to blame for what's going on in your life. If it's not good, accept yourself. You can't blame anybody else. You can't, man. I know you want to. Hell, I do. I love in my brain to sit here and blame somebody. I hate you for what you did. I hate you for how you make me feel. I hate... I hate this place for doing what they did, et cetera. That's your ego, man. Push yourself. Push yourself harder for yourself. If you do it right and you live right, you're going to sleep at night. You're not going to have weight on your shoulders at night. Weight on your mental. Reflect on yourself and push through it every single day. Don't let anybody else take what you believe is yours, but if you don't, Believe in it yourself and do it right. It won't be yours. So take a second, man. Slow down. Reflect. Because you never know what the rest of your life can be, man. You might lose it all and have nothing for the rest of your life. Some things may not come back. Don't let your life be like that, man. Don't. Push through. Think about it. Write it down. It doesn't matter. But push through. Use that self-reflection time to become a better person in every aspect of your life. And you will be who you want to be and who you believe in your heart you know you can be. Get after it.